Good morning my friends and happy Sunday. It is the 20th of March today I believe and uh, I hope you're all doing well and have had a lovely week. You join me today as always in the sewing room and I am about to finish my second swoon. So I left you last time with this beautiful swoon finished and I've just been working over the last couple of days to get the next one done and I think it's going to look really cool. I'll show you what I'm currently up to. Here are all of the units all ready to be pieced together and this one features the beautiful viewfinder fabric from Melody Miller. This is my inspiration fabric that I have sort of used as my influence for picking all of the other fabrics in this quilt that I'm going to make and I'm really happy with um, how it's working out. It did take me a while to decide what colour solid to match with it. I was initially going to do pink but I thought it might kind of be too pink. I don't know, it just didn't quite work. So then I found this one and I thought that was quite a nice sort of contrast. It kind of matches with this but not quite. I think also this sort of like grey blue colour um, sort of matches well with it too. So yeah, um, I also wanted a solid colour that didn't take away too much from the print. As you can see I also fussy cutted the centre six and a half inch square to include the selvage. I've done this a couple of times on a couple of quilts where if you have a really nice decorative selvage and you don't want to sort of like get rid of it, uh, I simply just cut it into the uh, measurement allowance. And then once I sew this piece onto this piece we're going to have a quarter inch seam all along here, so it will just sort of stop before the cotton and steel sign. And yeah, I just think it's a really great sort of nod to the fabric and the maker and the designer and all that sort of stuff to include that in there. So while I still sort of wake up and get my morning going, I'm going to just do what I always do. I'm such a broken record. Just find some good music, pop it on and just, you know zen into doing some Sunday sewing and getting this beautiful swoon finished. <laughs> I'm so happy with how the solid color works and like the contrast of the deeper fabric just makes it look like it's like a starburst. I love it so much. Here's a bit more of a closer look of how the selvage came out. So we did lose a little bit in the seam allowance but that's okay because I, I factored in for that and that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted it right under the words and yeah it turned out really well and next to the one that I did last week oh, it looks so good I'm so excited for this quilt it's gonna look great I'm also going to start prepping for the next block this afternoon and this is the next fabric we're going to use and I paired it with the pink this is like a really nice sort of dusty rose kind of pink and I think it's a really nice sort of offset from this bright pink here and just sort of mellows it out a little bit more. I find if I pair a dark fabric with a soft solid it really makes this sort of star burst sort of like really pop out. You can sort of see it in that one as well. So hopefully we will have the same effect uh, with this one. Well, good morning my friends and happy Saturday. It's the 26th of March and I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since I came on and said hi, but all is good, all is well. The last couple of weeks I've just sort of been in like introverted mode where I've just been very much to myself. But in saying that, all is good. Um, and I thought I'd share a little bit of my day with you, a little bit of the weekend. Today I have a few errands to do. First off, I need to try and find some cheap petrol because I'm um, getting low and uh, I've sort of been like waiting out because petrol prices have just been so expensive and it's the same issue everywhere 
else in the world. Although the prices are still quite high, they are a little bit better uh, today. So I'm just gonna <laughs> bite the bullet and just fill up. Yeah, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. I also need to get a few grocery things and I really wanna buy some flowers today. Um, don't know why, I just feel like spending some money on some flowers, just making the place a little bit more beautiful. And I also have to go and visit my P.O. box because there is something in there to pick up. It's another cloudy, grey, rainy day today like it has been for like the last two days. It's weather that just won't go away. It's just always so rainy. I mean, I don't mind the rain. I love it when it rains and it's cloudy and, and kind of chilly. It's not chilly, but like cold. It's not hot. Um, it's bearable. It's, it's nice bearable weather. Um, where I can just, you know, sit down with a quilt on my lap and a cup of tea and not be overwhelmed. But at the same time, it's just making everything really muddy and gross and wet. It's making the dog all muddy. It's hard to <laughs> wash clothes and dry them. And at the same time, our dryer is on the blink. So all of our washing has had to be, like, hung up outside under cover. And it just takes forever to dry. Oh, well. Anyway, it's a whole first world problem. But yeah. I love the rain, but at the same time, it can just like go away now. <laughs> anyway, it's time to get going. I'm not going to do anything sitting in the driveway. Let's go and buy some flowers. Oh, I'm so excited by that prospect. Yay for flowers. For those of you who remember getting the pig for Charlie, he loves it. And uh, surprisingly, it actually still makes noise. He hasn't destroyed it, but he loves it. Quite often he'll be playing with it and then it will be silent and so then I'll look down and he's just licking it, giving it a nice good kiss because he just absolutely loves his pig. So yeah, there's a Charlie update for you. Hi, you want to say hi to everyone, puppy? You say hi? Oh, the gorgeous boy. You the gorgeous boy? Yes, you are. Look at you hamming it up for the camera. Hey. Oh, you're so beautiful. Alright, so I'm back from running my errands for the day. And don't mind the dog in the background. Well, he's a pig. He'll be quiet in a second. But I thought I'd share with you a package that I got in my PO box. It is from a lovely viewer who lives quite close to me. And I'm friends on Facebook and Instagram. Her name is Judy. Judy, you know who you are. You are so lovely for sending me something in my PO box. Don't worry, this is my PO box address. So I'm going to open it and see what's in there. She's so lovely for thinking of me and sending me something. Oh, it's piqued the interest of the dog. What's in there, puppy? Should we have a look? Ooh, this looks very interesting. <gasps> there is something Minnie Mouse in there, puppy. Look. Oh my gosh, it looks like a beautiful package full of just lovely Disney things. Oh my gosh, I'm so spoiled. We've got some homemade soap. We're actually in need for some more soap. So, this has come at a very good time. I'm going to see. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a card. Hang on. Oh, the soap is handmade by her sister in Tasmania. <gasps> I love Tasmania, so this is amazing. How wonderful! Thank you so much for that lovely message in there. It's very, very encouraging. Thank you. I'm not sure what the scent of the soap is. Oh, that smells so nice. I love that. That's really nice. You'll have to tell me what the scent is because I can't quite pick it. But it's really nice. I love that. We'll definitely use it. Thank you. Oh, we have some Minnie Mouse socks. I love socks. That's what they will look like when I open the box. And then we have a lovely Minnie Mouse canvas tote bag. I'm going to open this one up and see what it looks like. Thank you so much. Oh, I love a good tote. How lovely. Oh my gosh, I love that. Goodness. Thank you so much, Judy, for sending this to me. And just thinking of me and making my day a little bit more brighter with your lovely package. So... Thank you very much. I just want to let you know about my P.O. box. If you were wanting to, you know, send me a nice card or anything like that to my P.O. box, just hold off for the moment because I am actually going to be changing my P.O. box very, very soon. So the address will change 
when it does change I will let you know what the new PO box address is and then um, you can use it if you so wish. No pressure but it's there if if you ever want to use it. Oh, I get so awkward about talking about those sort of things but um yeah just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> It's the 4th of April and I hope you're all doing well. Hello from the other side of a very sick and sneezy week that was. If you saw the written post that I put up on my community tab on my channel over the weekend, you'd know that um, we all got COVID. And uh, yeah, so for the last week we've all been just isolating at home, trying to get better. So we're all sort of battling heavy head cold like symptoms. Thankfully it hasn't been as bad as what, I don't know, I think we all thought it would be. It's just like having a, an awful head cold that just won't go away. I think we're all on the mend, still not 100% but there's nothing you can do but just, you know, rest and just let time heal I guess yeah hopefully this week will be a little bit better than last week he's hoping I don't know I suppose in in happier news although last week I was quite sick I had the biggest like surge of motivation to do some sewing I think it's because I find sewing such a nice lovely happy thing to do it's just such an easy comforting thing to do to distract you from feeling sick it keeps your hands busy keeps your mind busy so yeah last week i got into some sewing and i absolutely loved it because my motivation has been like a zero but last week it just like came back with a vengeance and i was like okay let's ride this let's do it so i managed to get one more swoon block finished i did share a picture of it with you i actually might just get it she is she's still on her little coat hangers because I can't quite find the room to put it on my wall because I can't reach my wall because my desk is in front of it um, so she's just hanging up on some hangers but I'm really happy with it you may have seen in the last clips the cutting and the piecing of some parts of this it's too big to get into the shop but that's what she looks like and I'm really happy with it and then over the rest of the week I found some energy to cut out all of the pieces for the next three blocks and I'm really excited about them. I'll show you what they are. So I've cut all the pieces out for this print. This is the viewfinder print. Same one as this one here on the wall but different colorway and I'm matching this one with a beautiful green. I'm absolutely in love with this green as it matches pretty closely to this green in it and I've even sort of fussy cutted to have a nice sort of big central green will in the central square to match with the solid. So I think that one's going to look really great. And then I've cut this one out with the typewriters. This one here. Um, so I've just paired that one with a dark sort of grey solid and I think that will look pretty cool as well. And then this one I am most excited about. It is... The sort of like sister print to the first swoon that I made, which is this one here. So that's the darker print and then the grey print. Same print but just different colourway. And I managed to find this incredibly bright sort of fluoro greeny yellow solid in my stash. And it matches like perfectly with the colours in it. So I think that one is going to look super bright and vibrant and just like really 
fun so I'm excited to do that one. I'm gonna decide which one to start today because I want to do a little bit of sewing today. I think I might actually do this one because this green and this print is just, I don't know, it's just making me really happy today. So we're going to work a little bit on that one today, I think. So I don't know how much I'll actually get done today. I find that I have like lots of energy in the morning and then by like after lunch, uh, I'm I'm lying down and, and having a break. So I'm gonna at least try and do half square triangles today because I usually like to start these blocks doing all of the half square triangles and then yeah, possibly have a break and then I also need to edit this vlog because I would like to get this up today just to say hi and uh, let you know that we're all okay but actually before I do all of this I have some washing to hang out because it's finally a beautiful sunny day it's not raining it's not cloudy it's actually like a proper functioning day so I'm going to do that first and then come and do some house square triangles friends it has come to the time of the day where my energy is very low. In my swim block today I only managed to get that far with my high square triangles. I just have to trim all of these now to their perfect is it three and a half inch square but I, I really can't find the energy for that today. So, it'll have to be tomorrow's job, I think. I am now going to edit this footage and pop it into the rest of the vlog that I have that's ready for you to watch. So I'm going to leave you for today. Thank you all so much for watching and for being very patient with me and waiting for me to um, vlog again and come on and say hi. Thank you everyone again for your lovely well wishes and I, myself, I hope <laughs> I have a speedy recovery and get back to to normal whatever normal is but i'm just gonna take each day as it comes and uh yeah it is what it is oh my gosh i am rambling now so i'm gonna say goodbye and i will see you all again very very soon bye bye